Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to sign an Apache Cordova Android application for release to the Google Play Store. Um, the advantage to this tutorial is that you won't have to bother with zip aligning and signing your APK file separately. It's all going to happen in one command. So to start things off, let's go ahead and create a brand new Apache Cordova project. Alright, so I went ahead and I created this project on my desktop. Now we're going to go ahead and add the Android platform to this project. And this is all assuming that you've already installed the Android SDK to your computer. So with the Android um, platform added to your project, let's go ahead and we're going to create a key store which will be used to sign our Android application. So using the command line go ahead and navigate to the platforms directory and then Android directory of your Cordova project. We're going to go ahead and create the key store in that directory. So let's go ahead and, and launch the command. So after um, using this command, it's going to ask you to enter a password for your key store. I'm going to just use call it test123. And then it'll have you confirm it. Now it's going to ask you a series of questions. Go ahead and answer them to the best of your ability. Uh, try to make it complete, but if you can't, that's fine too. You can go ahead and use the default values. After you uh, enter those values, it's going to ask you for a different password. Um, for this purpose, I'm just going to keep the same password as I did for the key store. So let's go ahead and find this key store in our platforms directory. As you can see, it's right here, example.keystore. The next step is to tie it together with Apache Cordova, so that way you can run it all with one command. So back in your terminal, go ahead and run touch ant.properties. And that'll go ahead and create a uh, properties file for, for ant. Go ahead and at, open it up. And we're going to go ahead and include the key store. We're going to use the name of the key store and then the alias that we used when using the key tool command. So let's save it. We can exit out. Um, so when you run the ant command, it's going to look at this ant properties file and notice that the key store is available for signing. And when you run the Cordova build command with the release flag, it's going to go ahead and run ant with release mode. So let's go ahead and try it. So during the build process, it's going to prompt us for a password, well, two passwords.
And as you can see, after entering my two passwords successfully, the build was successful. And to test it out, we're going to go ahead and launch it in our simulator. And as you can see, uh, it successfully installed. That's really all there is to it. Um, it. It does save you a lot of trouble. A lot of the tutorials online show you how to do it in parts by first building your APK and then signing it and then zip aligning it. Uh, that's really not necessary. What I did, it will accomplish all of that in one command. Uh, if you like this tutorial, go ahead and follow my uh, blog channel on YouTube. I'm also going to have a write-up of this blog found on my website. The link can be found in the description of this, of this particular video. Thank you.